Coming up on MHS1, we explore the Common Core. We learn about the Wizards and Harry Potter Club. And we invade a staff member's home. And it's all coming up on MHS1. McKinney High School. Today is October 25th. I'm Mallory Hauser. And I'm Patrick Duran, and you're watching MHS One. On Monday, changes were made to the retesting policy that alter how students can adjust their summative grade. Here's Hannah Hornbeck and Grant Holland with more on this new policy. McKinney ISD recently applied a new retake policy to balance grading across right, the district. So. With the new retake policy, uh, one of the things it does is it seeks to provide greater consistency. And so the, the maximum a student can retest for is up to an 80. Uh, the biggest difference is that before in the previous policy, you could only take, have a retake or redo if you were actually failed the assignment, so a grade of 69 or below. And what this does is now it says that students who make an 80 or below can retest for, uh, can retake or redo an assignment. Uh, if it's a summative assignment, they have to set up a tutorial with their teacher to redo or retake the assignment. If it's a formative, the teacher may require them to come in for a tutorial. Students have five days from the time their teacher returns their assignment uh, to come in for their tutorial and retake the assignment. So there's a limit, there's a deadline of five days to get the retake or redone, turned back in or, or taken. Students share their feelings about the new policy. The older system was better because you actually had to try the first time to actually pass it and then if you didn't then the highest you could get was a 70 which was that that's what you will get if you don't try the first time. I like it because in most of my classes you can only retake for up to a 70 and now we can go up to an 80 so if you do poorly on a test you can make up for it and it won't affect your grade as much if you failed if you're willing to put in that extra effort to retake. We are at the point where we're not just asking kids or not just giving the kids the opportunity to survive, they also have an opportunity to thrive because the idea is that mastery is about 80% about of the content. For more information about the new retake policy affecting you, you can find it at mainstreamnews.com. This has been Grant Holland and Hannah Hornbeck reporting for MHS One. The Common Core Standards are a U.S. education initiative that have been adopted by 45 states, excluding Texas. Here's Ben Tatum and Maui Hauser with how these standards have affected students. The Common Core State Standards Initiative is a U.S. educational reform that aims to bring together diverse state curricula into alignment with one another. These standards are for kindergartners through 12th graders in the subjects of English and math. Since Texas has opted out of the Common Core, it has had a significant impact on McKinney ISD. The Common Core is something that the U.S. Department of Education came up with with a whole bunch of teachers and education people that is in response to the supposed decline in U.S. test scores. The states that are in it are Texas, Alaska, Virginia, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Being a majority conservative state, Texas has chosen not to adopt the Common Core standards. In the Constitution, education isn't mentioned, and because of that, it means that the states should be in charge of education, and we believe in federalism, and so we didn't want to I guess, give up our rights over our education system. When the states agreed to enact the Common Core in their school systems, a common textbook was assigned to address the math and English standards, while states like Texas continued to use their own. A lot of textbooks that are used in Texas have the Texas state standards in there, and they're, they don't have the common ones in there. But for the most part, I, I, don't, I don't see very much change for us at all. Since Texas has rejected the Common Core, there has been pros and cons within our school district. You know, Texas is different than any other state in the nation, and so we can cater everything towards those kids in particular. And so it's a lot more individualized for our population. The disadvantage is that it would have come with a lot of federal money. And so we missed out on a lot of that funding, and so we've had all those budget cuts and those sorts of things. Texas testing standards have been affected by the implementation of the Common Core. When we opted out, there is a push uh, among all of the United States to make things up to standards. And so that's why we went from the tax test to the star test, something that was really, um, or a little bit more rigor and a little bit harder to pass uh, in order to kind of set that bar a little higher. Seniors that plan to attend an out-of-state college should not be worried that Texas is not participating in the Common Core. Well, depending on what the student wants to go into, they're going to go on their own track. And so I don't, they, 
they'll they'll have the background knowledge and then when they get to their college that they want to go to they'll be fine. Despite being one of the few states that did not adopt the core, Texas will continue to maintain its current system. This has been Mallory Hauser and Ben Tatum reporting for MHS1. Here's Christian Schneider with sports. Last Friday, your varsity football team played hard but fell short to the Plano East Panthers, losing 28-33. to Last night, your Lions were also defeated by Plano West High School. The varsity volleyball team also played Plano East last week. They prevailed over the Panthers, beating them three sets to two. Come to the gym tonight at 6 to see the volleyball team play the Allen Eagles in one of the biggest matchups of the season. That's all for sports. Now back to you. Thanks, Christian. Even though the Harry Potter series has come to a close, some students are keeping the story alive. Here's Haley Kinney and Sarah Appleby with more about the Harry Potter Club. This year, McKinney High School is making the magical world of Harry Potter come to life with its new club. The students came up and asked me if we could start a Harry Potter club so they could find some friends that like Harry Potter, so that's what we did. My favorite thing is I get to show my true dorky self and just have fun. I mean, I've loved Harry Potter since I was a kid. Uh, we watch the movies, talk about the books, and play Harry Potter related games such as Harry Potter Chess, Uno, and hopefully we're going to play Quidditch. My favorite thing about Harry Potter Club is the fact that you get to meet other Harry Potter fans or Potterheads. So we have a dueling app. We dress up every once in a while <laughs> and other things. The club meets on Thursdays in room D207. The main thing is we get to meet other Harry Potter fans and have a lot of fun just meeting other people of our kind. This has been Haley Kinney and Sarah Appleby reporting for MHS1. Drumline is one addition to the Royal Pride Band that pumps students up at pep rallies and football games. Here's Sarah Appleby, Mason Lane, and Hannah Fisher with more on this energetic group. The McKinney High School Drumline is comprised of different types of instruments that make up the percussion section of our Royal Pride Band. So the drumline is made up of two different sections. We've got the battery, the guys on the field carrying the drums, and then we've got the front ensemble, uh, the guys on the sideline playing keyboards, cymbals, drum set. We've got guitar and bass in there this year. Um, and within the battery, then we've also got three different groups, snares, bass drums, and tenors. My responsibilities as drum captain are that I have to make sure everybody knows what's going on. I have to to teach people how to do things, correct people on, on uh, technique, and I also have to call out cadences and just pretty much clean the show in general. The drumline is most known for its appearance after halftime in the student section to re-energize the crowd. My favorite part about teaching drumline is watching the look in everybody's face when we just nail it. When we do something amazing, play a role together, get the students fired up, seeing that look and feeling that passion from the group is what gets me super excited about it. My favorite part about football games is definitely student section where we go over to the student section after halftime and we, we play for them during the third quarter and get the students all pumped and get the football team all pumped. The drumline has become a fan favorite amongst the student section for sports other than football. I really like how drumline is starting new traditions and they're starting to branch out and do new things and like at the volleyball game after the game how we all went outside and we were really pumped and hype and it just brought all the students together. This has been Sarah Appleby, Hannah Fisher and Mason Lane reporting for MHS1. Hey Patrick, have you carved a pumpkin for Halloween yet? No, have you? Yeah, but I wish I would have had these students to help me pick out the perfect one. Here's Blake Swanner and Noe Garcia with some pumpkin picking tricks. Howdy! Howdy. Welcome to Blake and Noe's Pumpkin Patch Quest. Here in this festive season, we search for the best pumpkin. Come on, Noe! Okay. We searched far and wide to find the perfect pumpkin and ended up here in the big orange pumpkin patch. Hmm, this looks like a superb pumpkin. Are you crazy? Nope, I give it two out of five pumpkins.
like a good one? It's kind of sad, but I say it's a three out of five pumpkins. Patrick Durian reporting for MHS One. Hey Mallory, have you ever wondered what the inside of your teacher's home looks like? No, but I have wondered what an administrator's house looks like. Well, you're in luck. Here's Cole Murray, Ben Tatum, and Noe Garcia with another home invasion. and I'm one of the assistant principals at McKinney High School. And this is my crib! Well, it's a two-story house and it was a spec home, so it was one of the last houses on the block that uh, they all designed. I didn't get to pick anything out, so if you see something ugly here, I didn't pick it out. It's not my fault. I have a husband and I have a son, and my son is in fourth grade, and he goes to Slaughter Elementary School, and he loves it, and we're very proud of him. And then my husband, and I've been married for 14 years. We just celebrated our last anniversary in October. And um, he works at JCPenney Corporate Office in Plano. Oh, goodness gracious. This is my dog, Lily. We got her from the SPCA. We rescued her, and she's very thankful. She's very thankful. And she has her own crib inside my bedroom. She is so laid back and sweet. Thanks, girl. Like my mom and dad will babysit for her, like like if we're out of town or something, and uh, they'll babysit and they want to keep her. And we're like, no, you can't have her. We we got her from the SBCA. She's our dog. Oh my gosh, one morning, it was like five o'clock in the morning, and I'm listening to this noise, and y'all, it scared me because it was like, like this real crazy noise and I'm thinking well what is that but I couldn't figure it out and the next morning I get up and I go into my kitchen and I'm drinking some coffee and I'm like waking up you know and like I look up and I see this gigantic hole in my wall and I realize that it was a squirrel trying to dig their way into my house into my crib and I realized very quickly that thank God the squirrel did not make it through the hole but $400 later, we fixed all the holes on the outside of the house, but we still have yet to fix the hole inside the house. I have an Acura TL 2012. This is my whip. And it is the most awesomest ride ever. You've got to see my, my Bath and Body Works collection. Like, I'm a hoarder. I, I have a problem. It's, it's a problem. It goes on sale 75% off twice a year, and twice a year my husband and I go and we buy the whole, t whole entire store. And then when he's not looking, uh-oh, he just got home. I have to whisper so he doesn't hear. When he's not looking, I go online and buy more. And I also have a perfume collection and a makeup collection because he does work for JCPenney Corporate and so we get discounts in Sephora. And so like, I always have to go and check out the sales. It's a problem. You got enough to make a show yet? Hey, you don't have to go home, but you gotta get out of my crib. Well, that's all we have for you today. For more news, visit MainStreamNews.com. And remember, if it's news, 
and it's at McKinney High School. It's MHS1.